Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Batman Arkham Asylum. Now I need to get to the Arkham Asylum Batcave. So what? Oh, they're all dead now. Yeah, I remember that part. I want to talk to them all before this happened because I knew I knew they were gonna end up dying. It sucks. This place sucks dick, I swear. Can I do this? Asshole. Right to the side of his head. I think this is the right way, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, actually... Damn, I can't do it yet. Five more hostiles that way, but you know what? Let's just go this way. Okay, we'll go where the hostiles are. I guess we have to. The goddamn door is locked. <laughs> sure, he's unconscious. Hey, guys. It's me, Batman. Stop that. Gotcha. Stay down. Just right in the... You just let it happen, too. The whole game slowed down and you just let him hit you in the face. I'm well, sorry. Since you're here now, we might as well get started. Tell me about your childhood. Anything stand out? Not particularly. Is that a tear I see? Too painful? <laughs> we'll come back to it later then. How about Baby Boy then? Oh, bet you were shocked to see him, weren't you? Personally. I was hoping he'd fold you up like a piece of paper and let me stamp you crazy. But even I don't get everything I want. So what was he doing here? Oh, questions, questions, questions. Well, I mean, I know. I've finished this game like four, five, six times. Eh, maybe four times, I think. This whole place is just unnerving. I don't like it. Okay, let's go. Detective mode doesn't work in here, and I'm glad it doesn't. Huh. <sighs> All right. Uh, this way, I think. This one, yes, it does. What's the deal with Dead Man's Point? It's been a favorite suicide location on Arkham Island for over 100 years. Yeah, I know. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies here. It's a regular home away from home. <laughs> Tweedledum and Tweedledee saw it. Can you see it? I don't know exactly what he's talking about. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, it's, it's in this direction. Anyone here? Some hostiles over there. Uh, it's in this general direction. Oh, 
Oh, hey. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. It just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Oh, hey. Of course you found that one easy. You were supposed to. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I hate a challenge. Ah. Fake patient interview 17. Joker remains uncooperative. My earlier diagnosis remains true. I believe he enjoys your persona too much. What's up, Doc? Today I thought we'd try something different. Oh, you make me blush, Doc. I have a girlfriend. Who well, you don't actually I'll care about. The case. I saw what happened. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Anyway, I thought it would be good to talk about your childhood. Oh, ever heard of romance, Doc? I don't give up the goods for free. You'll have to try harder. What are you hiding? Didn't you hear me? Scratch my back, Doc, and, well, I won't have you wrapped in plastic and left in a gutter. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> An insanely homicidal supervillain, the Joker's white skin, green hair, and blood-red lips belie the chaotic nature underlying his cartoonish appearance. The self-styled clown prince of crime has no superpowers beyond a capacity for incredible violence and a skill at creating deadly mayhem. He frequently concocts elaborate schemes to entrap his arch nemesis, Batman. Real name? Unknown. Depending on the continuity, at least. Occupation? Professional criminal. Base of operations? Gotham City. Eyes? Green. Hair? Green. Height? Six feet. Weight? 160 pounds. First appearance, Batman number one, spring 1940. Attributes, unrepentant homicidal maniac, albeit without a precise psychological diagnosis. Surprisingly strong hand-to-hand -hand combatant. His past is unknown. Conflicting unconfirmed reports state that he was a failed comedian, a petty thief, and a broken family man. Hmm, must be your three jokers. Employs various deadly weapons, often based on party gag items. Frequently uses a toxin that stretches victim's face into a joker-like grin and causes death. Indeed. A fun fact, the Joker was originally supposed to be killed off permanently in the early issues of Batman. Uh, I believe he was only around for maybe eight or so issues. And originally they were going to kill him off entirely. And they did kill him off, technically. And that was supposed to be his permanent death. But eventually, like, like fairly quickly actually, they decided to bring him back. And he's been back ever since. I don't recall if they ever actually explained his um, his return. But that's comics. It's DC and Marvel comics. Oh, there's one over there. How do I get up there? I don't, apparently. I wish I was outside right now. Oh, it's right there. Alright. Where is the damn thing? I believe that that's another riddle or question mark. Let's face it. There are two dents on the wall. Oh, God, that, is, that is just so transparent. Tweedledum and Tweedledee saw it. Can you see it? 
I know what the hell it is, but I, I was pretty sure it was in this, this general direction. This general area. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to say what it is. I think it's fairly obvious if you... Like listen to it again. Tweedle D and Tweedle Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle D saw it. Can you see it? All right, that's Oh hey. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Yeah, they saw me. Damn it. Stop it! Oops. Give me a turn that on. Come on, do it again. Ah, uh, that guy's gone. Why do, they, why, do, why do none of them have any shoes? I've always wondered that. Anyway, I really m miss the... Uh, well, I say, I say miss loosely. Loosely, uh, because... I mean, it wasn't introduced until Arkham City, but I do miss the... When you use the stun attack... Oh, that, is that what it is? Okay, there it is. Right there, I guess. Uh, we, we use the stun attack, and then Batman uses the multiple hits. A challenge completed. Can you do more? Maybe. Uh, where's the cave? Oh, okay, here it is. Anything else here? All right. Oh, hey. I returned to my work, but I could not shake the pictures from my mind. I should have been repulsed, but I was more eager than ever to find an explanation for why someone would do this. Is well hidden. Yeah, skulls. Huh. Now, how did he hide one here? So, what was it that gave it away? The big green glowing question mark? Yeah, that that kind of did it. Also, my detective mode. Enter the Bat Cave. The Arkham Asylum Bat Cave. Or Arkham Island, actually. Eh, semantics. Eh, the Thief's Downfall. On. All right.
What kind of OS do you think the back computer uses? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original venom compound. There are a number of changes that appear to amplify the strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a venom-like transformation in the host, eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. My god. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? Of course he is. What am I saying? You've got to stop him. There's the back claw. Probably the best uh, gadget you get in the entire game. I'm going after her. She was heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going up top via the catacombs. I don't see why you have to do that, but all right. Convenient. There we go. And I do believe there is a an upgrade for the back claw that lets you take down concrete. You know, on the weaker surfaces. No, but I like to hear that story. Sounds fun. Should work. Mm. Oh, hey. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. Okay, so something happened with the capture partway through uh, the message being read out. So I'm just going to hit play on this again. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions, cataloging his depraved crime. What should have been revenge, turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. Oh, well, I hope he got it.
strange writings and symbols that have been found around Alchemist Island and deciphered by Batman. They must, they, these must have been left for a reason. What story do they tell? Real name. Everything is unknown. Not available. First appearance. Batman Arkham Asylum. Summer 2009. <laughs> we'll see. Who's this? Oh, Jack Ryder. Frank Bowles. Have I looked at Harley's? An Arkham Asylum psychiatrist assigned to treat the Joker, Dr. Harleen Quinzel instead became obsessively fixated on her patient, believing herself to be in love with him. She helped him escape confinement and took on her own criminal identity as Harley Quinn. Quinn is a violent and unpredictable felon whose only motivation, beyond general mayhem, is achieving the Joker's approval. Because of his cool and merc mercurial nature, this in some ways makes her just, a, just another of his victims, albeit a very dangerous one. Well, that is true. Real name, Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Occupation, professional criminal and former doctor. Also a roller derby skater. Would we skater? Competitor? Well, what's a competitor? Also, she was a landlady for at, um, at one point in time. That was cool. I should really get back to that comic too. Like I read a little bit of Harley's. This was New 52. But still, Harley's solo comic that I read of it, I really enjoyed it. I need, I need to get back to that and read more of it. Uh, eyes blue, hair blonde, height 5 foot 7, weight 140 pounds. First appearance, Batman, Harley Quinn number 1, October 1999. That is not actually true. Harley's first appearance was in Batman the Animated Series. She became so wildly popular that they quickly integrated her into the comics. That may be her first comic book appearance, but that wasn't her first actual appearance, period. She first appeared in Alchemist and um, the animated series back in the 90s, before 1999. Attributes, surprising strength and stamina, superior gymnastic skills, total disregard for human life. That's an attribute. Oh, well, I guess it's an attribute. Like the Joker... She's a homicidal psychotic who escapes, who escapes easy classification. I don't know about that. Why are we the ones? Oh shit, they were talking. Oh. I saw instructions on the screen and I just followed them. Get off my back. Oh, right trigger. Oh, you can't do it like an Arkham City. Stop that. In Arkham City, if you use the back claw, <clears throat> the back claw, you pull an enemy towards you. Batman will do a clothesline immediately. You know, I just may play Arkham City after this. Can you hear that, detective? It's the sound of me clapping at your success. Oh, you can't. That's because an idiot would have found that trophy. Uh, I won't play Arkham City just after this, mind you. I'm just, I'm just saying. But playing this game has got me in the in a kind of a Batman mood. is dehumanizing, isn't it? Born with a red mutation that made his skin green and scaly and grew his body to grotesque proportions, Waylon Jones was raised by an alcoholic aunt and bullied relentlessly for his appearance. 
He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misanthropy grew as, his, as, it, as did his bestial nature, pushing him to a life of crime. As his physical condition and mental state deteriorated, Killer Croc became a more bestial foe, increasingly detached from humanity. Real name, Waylon Jones. Occupation, alligator wrestler, really. Gangster, murderer. Murderer is an occupation? I mean, hitman maybe, but I don't know. A base of operations, mobile. Eyes, yellow. Hair, none. Height, 11 feet. In this game, at least. Weight, 580 pounds. Jesus. First appearance, Batman number 357, January 1984. Literally 1984. <laughs> Killer Croc has incredibly thick, tough skin and razor sharp teeth and claws. An expert wrestler, his strength and stamina are at a near superhuman level. Heightened senses and extremely fast reflexes. Able to survive in water for extended periods of time. An intense hatred of humanity. I would imagine so. Hey. I've been digging deeper oh. into Dr. Young. According to her bank records, there have been multiple payments starting last April until two months ago. Then nothing. The payments came from a company owned by uh, Mr. Jack White. One of Joker's oldest aliases. So, Joker pays Dr. Young to create his army and then all of a sudden he stops. Doesn't make any sense. Stops paying. I don't remember exactly. Easy. A blind man would have stumbled over that one. You were just so fucking eager to say how smart you are. I know I said before that I actually do kind of like the red but man, he is just fucking obnoxious. A puzzle has many sides, but only some of this. Ah, oh, fuck is this part. Ah, this place is a fucking maze. This is one of my least favorite parts of the game. Alright, you know what? We'll pick this up in the next episode. Because I do not feel like doing this right now. Alright, so. Till then, I'll talk to you guys later.